So today I'd like to share some history of indoor climbing. I'm gonna just go straight. Don Robinson. He was the first person to build an indoor climbing structure. His pity for untrained climbers who injured themselves while climbing spurred him to create a training session for preventing recurrences. So he decided to glue stones and rocks on a standing brick wall to mimic movements that the climbers would possibly make outside, meaning the actual big rocks outside. There, he successfully created his iconic wall at Leeds University in 1964. Later, when most of the climbers saw this, they decided to extend on the idea to create their own routes and games to train, which extended to current time bouldering. So, this is how it began, I guess. Although this sport started as a way for professional climbers to keep themselves fit when they are off-season, it has successfully evolved into a few other things, such as Olympics. One example, the 2020 Olympics that supposedly happened in Japan, who knows. But if it does, I hope, it will be the first time that climbing has a separate event in the Summer Olympics. It started as a bench warmer, now in the Olympics. What do you say about that? So, this is how it began, again, and how it is now. Indoor climbing is an emerging field of sport that is gaining more and more acceptance daily. I won't be surprised to wake up one morning and find indoor climbing gym everywhere, every part of the world, just like a football field. Rock climbing is fun, but dangerous. So make sure to check out indoor climbing before outdoor climbing. No offense to outdoor climbers. This was Rock Squirrel. And I hope you guys have a good day. Now we'll see you guys again with different topic. Obviously related to bouldering or climbing or indoor climbing or outdoor climbing or climbing or whatever. Anything with rocks. Rock and roll.